it's me Kaylee and today I'm gonna be shopping for a new makeup product basically my makeup bag is disgusting so I do have a new one to put all my new makeup in we have three whole different ones and my makeup is just I need an upgrade on new like products and just a new skincare routine and like just all of this stuff I need new of and maybe new brushes as well so, like, really, like, my holy grails are, well, a lot of people use this. I don't really like it at all. So, I am going to be buying the Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury because I had it once and I, like, just didn't like makeup, but I really like the consistency of it and stuff. So, I'm definitely going to be getting one of those. Um, I bought these again, hoping to have a different outcome. I did not like it at all. But hopefully that one brand, I think it's like called Say, 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 I think. They have some bronzy drops that are actually in stock and maybe I'll get those to try out. I love this highlighter. I feel like I need a new powder brush. Blah, blah, powder blush. I do need a new Sienna concealer because this one is just really out. Like, okay, it doesn't look like it's out, but it definitely is out. So I need to get a new one. And also I'm going to be doing my makeup right now because I just woke up from a nap and I look like crap. So I'm just going to put this everywhere. And then I also want to look for a new eyebrow gel that's really good. Like I said, I want to look for new brushes because I have brushes, just not really good ones. Like I have a couple good ones, but I want like a different brush for each thing. Like I've been using the same brush for all my makeup like steps. And I don't know, I kind of want to be like a makeup guru, guys. Like, honestly, like, you know, like those challenges on TikTok that like makeup people do like, oh, bin the wheel and whatever it lands on, you have to do that makeup step first. Like, I want to do kind of videos like that. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that kind of stuff, because I genuinely love makeup. And maybe like I could do like, oh, testing out like, let's say Maddie Ziegler's like makeup routine. And stuff like that like i would love to try that but i just feel like i need new products for that you know because as of right now i don't really have the best of products i mean i have like charlotte tilbury blush but like let's say in like the contour and that kind of section i don't really have like the best knowledge on even how to do it so i'm gonna need some work for that but I'm really excited. I'm going to be going to Sephora. A girl just got paid and it's going to go to makeup because even though my birthday is literally coming up, it's in May and I could like ask for new makeup. First makeup is freaking expensive. Like it's actually insane. Maybe I'm going to um go to Sephora and like buy this stuff and then make my brother guess how much like the products cost. I feel like that would be really funny. We're going to see how it goes. Also, guys, I really want the Dyson, but I'm not going to spend money on it, but, like, I really want it. Like, that's one of the things that I really want. Mm, maybe I could ask for it for my birthday. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Also, I do need, I already said it, but a powder blush because I've been using just, like, liquid-based things my whole routine, and I just feel like that's what makes my face very watery and stuff i also do need a setting spray oh my god like a setting spray like i feel like those actually will help me at school because right when i get into school my makeup just melts off and it's actually terrible so we're gonna hope and pray that we could find one that i like i know there's like two that a lot of people like a lot of people do like the charlotte tilbury one but a lot of people do like the one size as well and then they also like this one that's like very very popular everyone's been like always using it my mom uses it it's it's like the one nighter i think that's what it's called it's like purple and black i don't really know the name of it but i think i'm gonna try to get the one size but i don't think sephora has one size i don't i haven't seen any of their products really in person but i mean i could be wrong i just haven't been looking already but I'm just powdering my face now because it's really bad. And then uh, we're gonna put a little bit of highlighter on my nose. 
and then we're gonna hit the road because I gotta get going. It is currently like three o'clock or something around there. So, got that. All right, now I am ready to go. I'm at 65 miles. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it there, but I don't wanna stop. It's really hot outside. So let's hope and pray that I will make it in time or just like make it there and not break down. All right guys, so we're walking in right now. I got really close parking and my miles are at 54. So I think I'm good to make it back home as well. But I'm walking in right now. I'm super excited. I'm probably gonna stop at other stores too, just to look around. But my main focus is makeup at Sephora. And hopefully I don't spend any more money than just there because I know for a fact I'm gonna spend so much money there. Um, so comment down below what you think I'm gonna spend there. And we're gonna add it all up and see how much I spend. Right when I walk in, there's an Urban Outfitters and I wanna go into, oh my God. That would be so cute for Punta Cana. Oh my goodness. Lemon is renovating, opening summer of 2024. It used to be right here. Oh my gosh, no way. Sephora literally has like nothing. I tried Hourglass Concealer too and literally nothing. Watches on my hand of everything. I have quite a lot in here. Not a lot actually, just a little bit. But I think I'm gonna get happy in the powder blush. home and I'm gonna give you guys a haul of everything I got and then I'm gonna be doing a full face of makeup I took my lashes off because I want to like put mascara on but like there's still okay give me a second there's still some lash glue on my eyelashes but we're gonna make it work so first up I did get two brushes the first one I got was brush 88 it is for bronzer that's what it looks like. And then the next brush I got was 60 and it's for foundation. So those are the two things I got. Then I got a Rare Beauty Happy blush, but it's the powder one, not the liquid one. Let me open all of this stuff. It's what it looks like. Oh, I feel so like sophisticated. Look how pretty. It's gorgeous. Then I got an Urban Decay All Nighter Setting spray i wanted to get the one size one but that was like all sold out and then i did get the anastasia um clear brow gel i needed a new brow gel and then i did get a makeup by mario concealer um they did not have my hourglass in my shade so i went with this one and hopefully i like it um, I kind of heard like iffy things about it, but like some are good, some are bad. So I guess we're just going to see. And then I also did get a Makeup by Mario contour stick. And this is what it looks like. I do have his blush. It does come with like a brush and like the same stick thing. But this one is like a contour. Oh, so this one's like a contour stick. And I did get another bronzer contour slash thing it's the refi cream bronzer and i got this in sand so i don't know really the difference between a bronzer and a contour so we're just gonna do it but this one is super pretty as well and it's like a cream one ah! i'm so excited last but not least i did get the flawless filter but this is the only size they had in my shade which i think is my shade i don't really know i didn't really ask anyone but I did get the 5.5, I think, 4.5 medium. And yeah, they only had like the small one in the shade. So hopefully that is it. But first we're gonna moisturize. Where's my moisturizer? 
Okay, I'm gonna do like some steps I usually used to do, but not anymore. But I'm gonna go in with the Glow Recipe Toner. It's all over my face. This soothing cream, because this is the only cream I see that I have. I don't see where my other ones are. So first I'm gonna go in with the Flawless Filter, the thing that I got. So we're just gonna like, I see people go like this. Okay, it is super, do you think that's my color? I think so. Hopefully I like how it looks. I think I'm just gonna go in with this as of right now and then if I want to, I'm gonna go in with usually the Glossier Skin Tint is what I use. So we're gonna open this foundation brush from like a, I don't know why Sephora brushes are so expensive. Like this one brush was $30. Anyways. Oh yeah. I'm gonna break this down for you. The price was $240. I'm gonna put the price of each item when I was showing it, but that's like insane to me. Anyways, we're blending this in to see how it turns out. So I think I am gonna go in with my Glossier Skin Tint. Um, this is my holy grail. It doesn't look like there's really anything on your skin when you put it on, but it just gives that very even feeling on your skin. So I'm just gonna rub that in. Is there some, like this brush that feels very weird. I don't know if I like it. And can I return it still if I already used it? Cause like, how would you know if you like it or not before you use it? This is all done. I think I rate this like, let me look up closer. Oh, it's not terrible. Hmm, I actually like it. I think I rate it like a 7. Alright. So next up is the Makeup by Mario Concealer. I got it in the shade... What shade did I get this in? 280. So we're gonna see how this works. Ooh, it's a little bit, I think, too tan. It has like a very um, orange undertone. So I don't know how this is gonna look. Do I have a piece of hair? I could feel something on my face. I don't know, but yeah, this feels very, very orange. Do you think I could still return it if it's like that? Let me know. Anyways, we're gonna blend this in now. It's just not it. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I give it like a six. So now we're gonna go in with the Refi cream bronzer i am not even sure how to use this but i am going to open the brush as well i feel like i should look up where to put cream bronzer i kind of want to do that filter on tiktok where it tells you where to put it mm, i think it's just like right here though okay we're gonna just go in with it i don't know how pigmented this is but we're just gonna go in That one's up. Very nice. That is so soft. Oh my goodness. That blended out so quick and good. I like it. Am I doing this right? Am I doing makeup right? I feel like I look just look very orange because of the concealer. I think what I'm gonna do is take my lighter um hourglass concealer under my eyes and see how that makes the makeup look. Here's my lighter concealer that I have. Cause I just thought, I guess this was my shade. So we're gonna put this on and see the difference it makes. 
I love the Hourglass Concealer, guys. Like, the formula and just everything about it is very, very nice. I really, really like it. It's just, I, they didn't have my shade. And I'm so sad about it. Okay, this is what it's looking like. I mean, I don't hate it, but, like, I have no idea really what's going on right now. But now we're going to do my brows. We're going to just take the brow gel. I don't really do much to it, but just the brow gel. Oh, I love this brow gel. Oh, my goodness. Yes. I want to start learning how to do my eyebrows, like, genuinely, like, with, I, I mean, with eyebrow liner and, like, all that stuff. But as of right now, this is just the simple way to go. So I rate this, like... A 10 out of 10. I mean, I don't see a problem with it. Also, these brushes. I'm not sure how I feel about the foundation brush, but I do like this contour brush. It's very soft and easygoing. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, I just powdered my face. And now, I'm going to go in with the powder blush. It's just so gorgeous. Like, I don't know what brush to use. I should have got a blush brush. But I think I'm just going to go in with this Morphe one. I'm not sure really what it's for. But, I mean, I use it for blush and, I mean, it works. So, I'm just going to put some on there. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. I need to, like, turn this light up more. Because I can't really see. Okay, this one's the best one. Okay, this blush, yeah, it has, like, glitter in it, and I just think it's super pretty. Okay, we love, we love. I rate this, like, a 9 out of 10. I love the color, too. I love it. I'm going to use the Makeup by Mario contour stick, but for my nose contour... So we're just gonna go down here, up there, and then I'm gonna put like two lines right there. <laughs> I need to blend this in. That actually looks pretty good. I just need to like put concealer in the middle or something. I'm gonna put like a little bit. To like lighten it out. Just like so. And I'm going to blend that in. Okay wait. It actually looks really good. I love that. I actually really really like that. Okay. Now. We're going to use just. This highlighter. Even though the blush kind of already gave my nose highlighter. We're just going to do, like, a line right here. My brown eye girl. There you go. It's all done, and now for the final step is this all nighter thing. I don't really know how much you're supposed to spray, um, but I usually see a lot of people do a lot. <laughs> and then we're gonna blow it. I don't know if we're supposed to tap it in or not, but we're just gonna. Dry it. <laughs> All right. And then last but not least, Summer Fridays lip gloss. I've had this though. I should have got another one. Because now... After going, I'm probably not going to go there for a while. But. That is the finished product.
product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below some other video ideas you guys would like to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next one.